Hello friends, today in this video we are going to discuss about the revival and maintenance of bacterial culture by glycerol stock preparation. Okay, so how we can how we can preserve the bacterial cell for long time. So now we in this video we are going to discuss about the preservation technique of bacterial cells. How we can preserve them for long time. Okay, so so these are the all whole procedure of this revival and maintenance of this bacterial culture so first step is the culture purchase so from where we can purchase the culture so at first we have to purchase the culture from this culture collection organizations that are the atcc mtcc nctc ncim so atcc means american type culture collection mtcc that is the microbial type culture collection and nctc means uh, national culture national collection of type culture and the ncim that is the national collection of industrial microorganisms okay so this is the different organi different organization or culture collection organizations from where we can buy our required bacterial cultures okay so after so most of the organisms most of the bacterial organisms we will uh, get in at their lifeless condition that means in their powder form or some we can also buy in liquid condition okay so most of them are in lifeless condition and after getting those bacterial cultures from this culture collection culture collection organization now we have to store them in our refrigerator at 2 degrees celsius to 8 degrees celsius okay so after after getting those bacterial culture then <clears throat> we have to store it at 2 degrees celsius to 8 degrees celsius until we revive them so now next process is revival of those bacterial culture so revival what is means revival revival is the back to growing phase so we have to back them into growing phase okay so what is the revival process so <clears throat> so in, uh, so we will get these bacterial cultures from this culture collection organization as like this this is a this is called the ampule okay so the lifeless condition bacterial cultures will become like this that is the ampule it is called the ampule and the lyophilized cultures or powdered form culture will be present here and one cotton plug is there okay and it is a sealed ampule okay so here a cotton plug is there and here our required bacterial culture is present like in powdered form okay now we what we have to do now we have to break this ampule at the point of cotton plug we have to break with a heavy weight we have to break this ampule at the point of cotton plug and then we have to remove this after that in like this we have to remove this cotton plug and add approx 0.4 to 0.5 ml of specified broth and this specified broth will be mentioned in our manual of reviving the particular bacterial culture so the specified broth will be mentioned in our in our uh, manual okay so now we have to add this specified broth 0.4 ml to 0.5 ml approx okay and now we one portion we will take for for streaking that means into specified into specified solid media we have to streak it and rest of the part we have to transfer transfer it to the 5 ml to 10 ml broth one part we will take one, one drop or two drop we will take into this specified solid media and rest of the part we will transfer to this 5 ml to 10 ml specified broth okay and next we have to incubate both this one and this one we have to incubate it at specified temperature for specified time which will be which will be mentioned in the manual okay and after that we will <coughs> take those pure colonies of by which we will get by streaking we have to take these colonies for 
further back, um, biochemical test or biochemical confirmation that means the particular biochemical uh, biochemical characteristics are present or not in that bacterial culture we have to see this okay so by this after that we have to go for the biochemical test which this one and by this broth culture we have to perform the we have to prepare the reference stock by this broth which we will grow after one night or overnight now we have to take this one for preparing the reference stock or glycerol stock okay so reference stock is our glycerol stock so how we will prepare the reference stock or glycerol stock so at first we have to take a cryovial and in this cryovial we have to add overnight growth culture over that, that means this one overnight growth culture of 600 microliter and we have to add 50% glycerol of 400 microliter 400 microliter of 50% glycerol and overnight growth culture that is 600 microliter okay and here at the and final concentration in final concentration the glycerol glycerol percentage will be 25 to 30 okay so now many people use different percentage of glycerol some use 10% 15% 20% 25% 30% as per their requirements for their particular bacterial culture okay so different people use different percentage of glycerol so now after adding this culture and glycerol next we have to vortex them or mix them so this is a very very vital process because if the culture is not properly mixed with glycerol the culture can be formed ice crystal and the cell can be ruptured the cell membrane can be ruptured so to prevent this or reduce this cell lysis or cell rupture this to form the ice crystal this glycerol bind with these cells okay so for this we have to vortex them or mix them and after that we have to store those glycerol stock at minus 80 degrees celsius that means in ultra low temperature defreezer we have to store them at ultra low temperature defreezer at minus 80 degree celsius so now <clears throat> and after that in every month we will take one one cryoval of glycerol stock and use it for preparing the working stock so how so suppose suppose we want to use our bacterial culture for two years that means 24 months okay so now we will prepare 24 reference stock or 24 glycerol stock and we have to store those 24 glycerol stock at minus 80 degrees celsius and each month or every month we will take one glycerol stock from minus 80 and then we will prepare or we will use those glycerol stock to prepare our working stock for that month okay so how we can prepare this working stock from this glycerol stock so at first we have to take the cryoval or reference stock from the minus 80 and we have to strip it into specified media where the specified our required bacteria can grow we have to stick them in specified media and store it at normal refrigerator in 2 to 8 degrees celsius for one month up to one month and use daily basis or daily work okay so for daily work we will use this we use this glycerol stock <coughs> and stick it and use it for whole month and in each month we will take one reference stock and use to prepare it for working stock okay so this is the whole process of revival and maintenance of bacterial cultures by preparation of glycerol stock as reference stock and from it to prepare the working stock okay thank you for watching this video